Hear that, boys? What is it? Just another narrow body aircraft. Hey, my atoms are shaking. Strange. It sounds far, but I bet my last proton, that beast is much closer than you think. Hold on, people. It's a leap powered aircraft. A leap into the unknown. What on earth is a leap? Something you sure haven't seen before. Everybody get ready. We're going in. Can someone please tell me what just happened? Sure. The engine makes a plane move forward. Thrust is produced by air being pulled in by the fan blades. Then this air is ejected at greater speed through the exhaust, creating the required pushing force. This is a principle of Newton's law. For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. So how is this possible? General Souls, come with me to the bypass. Extreme sport freaks, with me, we'll hit the compressors, combustor, and turbines. The LEAP is a high bypass ratio engine, which means that a large amount of air bypasses the core of the engine to be ejected directly into the exhaust stream. The fan acts like a propeller. Its curved rotating blades accelerate the airflow into the engine. Lighter composite materials provide better efficiency and resistance. Here come the compressors. Get ready. Things are going to heat up. Feel that? It's the low pressure compressor squeezing us. Now, the high pressure compressors. You're gonna feel the difference. Ultra-efficient compressors deliver optimum air pressure and temperature conditions for combustion. It's rising up now. Let's get toasted! Gentlemen, meet your kerosene counterparts. These guys are gonna light up your day. Already? We usually mingle inside. Not anymore. I thought there'd be more of you. Normally, yes, but in this engine, fewer of us are needed. This little kerosene particle is right. The LEAP engine burns less fuel than former engines. In addition, the fuel nozzles mix fuel and air before they enter the combustor, creating a homogeneous mixture that minimizes the peak temperature during combustion. This technology significantly reduces emissions. Okay, let's go. The combustion chamber. This is the heart of the engine, where energy is created through combustion of fuel and compressed air. Are you ready? Here comes the final blast. What a boost! Where are we now? Turbines. Let's transfer our energy to them. This is the last extreme stage before we join the soft team. Enjoy. Advanced material and aerodynamics make the turbines much more efficient and durable. The pressure and speed of the hot gases provide the force needed to turn the turbines and its shaft, which in turn drives the compressor and fan. Come on guys, don't hang around. We alone are responsible for 90% of the thrust from this baby. Here come those adrenaline junkies. So, how was it? Fast, hot, and fantastic. What a trip! Are you kidding me? It was us in the primary flow that did most of the job. Not exactly, kid. It's teamwork. We definitely need each other. We provided the energy to drive the engine, and they provided most of the thrust to make the aircraft move forward. Hey, boss. Sounds like we're in luck today. You said it. It's game on again, boys. Let's go. 